Hey everyone, welcome to Running Retro. So today we are going to be going through the process of disassembling and reassembling a Sega Genesis six button controller. Now, a three button controller is the same process. It's just that it doesn't, you don't have to worry about the top three buttons. So if you can take this apart, you can take one of those apart. First thing we're gonna do is flip this sucker upside down. Now, you might want to take these apart in order to clean the case, repad them, do just upkeep, and that's fine. This is uh, this will suffice for doing all of the above. As with most of the Sega controllers, I find that it they're actually pretty easy to get the screws out of. Uh, a lot of the Nintendo controllers, the, the screws are so sunk into the controller that can be a little difficult to get them out until after they're uh, unscrewed, but um, the Nintendo is really bad about that. The Super Nintendo, not so much. That one's a little stubborn. That's fine. We'll just pop the back off and give that a little bit of a shake, and it'll pop right out. All right, so here we go. The guts of the controller. So you want to pop the wire out of this little channel right here lift the bottom of the controller like this and just pop that out like that you'll see that there's like a little hook right here you're basically just trying to pop it and curl it off of that hook and then you can take this button out your pads just pop straight off and then all of your other buttons will just pop straight out. We can actually just flip it and dump it. Uh, there you go. Yep. There we go. I love the I love the D-pad on the uh, on the old on the old Genesis controllers. And that's how you disassemble the controller. Now, so for putting it back together, I drop my start in first because it's gray and it uh, it's gray and it can be a little confusing when you see it with this. <clears throat> for these, you've got your little tabs. So all you're doing is you're just lining up. Uh, you're just lining up the tabs with which one goes where. Easy peasy. And that's literally all I do. I just grab it and look and you can you can figure it out pretty easily for which is which. And you're just setting it down on these posts they will line themselves up. The middle one doesn't have a post, so you don't need to worry about that. But here's the important part. You want to take this mode button and actually drop it down in here right now and just get it into its channel. Then you're going to take this, slip it around the post here, and then angle it and line it up to this post. And from there, you should just be able to drop it right in. A little stubborn sometimes. Don't force it. If you feel like there's something askew, then you know you don't want to you don't want to push it too hard because you don't want to break anything either. This one is being a little stubborn. This does pop out from time to time, so just be aware of that. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then this curls around, drops in, and your back plate goes on over top. There we go. There is something with this PCB hanging up on the right hand side. I'm 
make sure that hasn't come out. Nope, that should be fine. just was being stubborn on that one section so if it's being stubborn just take your time with it and make sure that it sets down uh, until you've done a lot of these uh, you, you will probably have to take a moment to get it to settle in uh, I have done a ton of Super Nintendo and a ton of Nintendo a reasonable number of Master System but uh, I actually Sega still has uh, people making new controllers for the Genesis so and the Mega Drive and they're pretty good controllers so I don't really find the need that often to take apart specifically Mega Drive controllers uh, that that's just something that uh, in my experience has not come up as often as the other controllers so this is one of those that uh, that I have not taken a whole ton of these apart but as you can see, it's not that hard. It's just a little patience and being gentle with it, knowing when to uh, when to reassess it a little bit. And again, when you screw these down, you are screwing into plastic, so you want to screw it down until you get just a little bit of tension. And you feel it sort of tighten up. You don't want to screw past that because you don't want to strip the plastic out. And there you go. That is a disassembly and reassembly of a six-button. Sega Genesis controller. So if you like or want to hear anything else that we didn't cover here or any opinions, please drop it in the description. I'm sorry, uh, drop it in the comments below. And go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, check us out on social media. We also stream three times a week on YouTube. We will be streaming two times a week on Twitch. So check out our streaming schedule and stop on by and say hi. Thanks, guys.